Hey guys, it's JD from Ponzo World, and today we're unboxing and reviewing this heat press made by Dream Van. Now this is a $240 heat press that you guys can find on Amazon. Links will be down below this video if you want to go, of course, pick this thing up. And I um, guess there's not really much more to say about it other than the fact that I'm actually pretty excited to review this thing. And also the uh, one that we have here is the 5-in-1. They also sell a 6-in-1 and a 8-in-1, uh, judging by the side of the box here. And speaking of the box, uh, this thing is quite heavy, so I know there's going to be a lot included. And um, I guess there's not much more to say about it. So let's go ahead and open it up the best I can, which I think I'm actually going to stop this clip. Typically what I do is I unbox the actual product on camera, but judging by the just the size of size of this thing and how heavy it is I think it's going to be kind of a pain to get out of the box so I'm just going to stop the clip uh, cut the tape here and I'll get back with you guys in a minute all right so I now have the box open and this is what you're greeted with so first of all it looks like we actually have some uh, heat transfer uh, papers whatever you want to call them here uh, included actually in the box which is pretty darn cool uh, check that out. We have one here, we have this one here, this one here, and then this one over here, and then we have the instruction manual now included on the Amazon photos were actually uh, these pictured right here. I was kind of wondering if those were included or not, uh, but they actually are, so that is pretty cool. I want to be pretty careful with these. I'll just set them off to the side now. You don't want to get them stained up or anything, so... Uh, over here we have the instruction manual right there. We will be taking a look at that in a couple minutes here And we have a few other things here So take this out This is kind of the uh, main unit here power supply. You can see it has a screen built in Very nice Power switches on the side here Set that off to the side too All right Take this foam out. Actually, that's gonna be lifting this up. Okay, let me take this foam out. I'm just gonna take all this stuff out, honestly, right now, and I'll show you guys what's included. All right, so here is the uh, main part of the heat press all set up. Now, we do have the temperature set to uh, 400. Right now, it's still heating up. It's about 366 degrees right now. Um, I'd recommend, uh, first of all, ironing out the shirt in this case, this is a new shirt, so it's kind of wrinkled up, um, and that's not going to come out good whenever you print it. So we are going to basically de-wrinkle it with the heat press here. It's at about 375 degrees right now. You can wait until it's completely warmed up if you want to. Um, I would typically do it around like 300 degrees uh, to just de-wrinkle the shirt. So let's go ahead and do that now. Basically, you're just going to let it go down. Let it sit there for probably, I would say, 10 seconds or so, and then it should be pretty much de-wrinkled by then. So let's go and give it a couple seconds here. And we will pull off. There you go. And the shirt should be, yep, see there? Kind of where the outline was. It's pretty much de-wrinkled now. So there it is. All right, so here we have the shirt with the uh, print uh, tape there at the top. Now, there is no real way to get this perfectly even on both sides and also top to bottom. Uh, basically just eyeball it and use a ruler if you want to. Uh, we also have it taped there with some high temp uh, tape. Obviously the last thing you want is the tape melting and then you know getting on the shirt so make sure to use a uh, special high temp uh, tape. So let's go and get the shirt here. Let's go and pick it up and bring it over here. And now what you're going to do from here is you're going to move the uh, press over a little bit. You're going to try to set this in here. All right, sorry about that there. I kind of stopped the uh, clip. We are having some trouble. It's getting caught up on the uh, parchment paper and stuff. And speaking of that, if you're especially if you're going to be using a white shirt, what you want to do is before you get the... Uh, top of the press here is you want to get some parchment paper and go ahead and put it over the shirt so then if there's any dirt on this part it doesn't you know, transfer onto the shirt. It's very important. Now we're going to go and flip this around here and 
let's go ahead and bring it down. I'm gonna get it clamped down. It's gonna take about 20 seconds, 400 degrees. And then what we'll do is we'll let off it and we're gonna have to do down here also, we're gonna have to do a second pass, unfortunately. I just isn't big enough to do the entire thing one time. There we go, then you're gonna let off. All right, so I now have the shirt flipped around here so then we could do the other half of it. Uh, again, don't forget your parchment paper here. It's being pretty important. Now let's go and flip the table around here. Bring it forward. Let's go and go down again. Wait about 22 seconds. Let it count down here. Now you wanna make sure you have really good pressure here. Um, if you don't have good pressure, it'll be too light and then it won't print correctly. About done here. All right, now we'll let off. We'll pull the uh, shirt off to the side and then we'll peel the uh, little backing off of here. All right, you can see here we are now peeling the paper and there it is. Keep going. Now if yours is kind of coming up with the paper like ours is doing in a couple of spaces or spots, uh, you want to put it in for a little bit longer. It might have to be what we do here. All right, so we noticed down here that it wasn't coming off um, onto the actual shirt. It was kind of peeling off with the uh, paper. So we went ahead and put it in a little while longer. You can see it's still kind of doing that. Hmm. We didn't do that with our very first print. I wonder why it's doing that here. All right, so now we're just peeling it in a, a different direction here. You can see it's working out pretty well now. Almost done. Got a little bit messed up here at the bottom. I wonder what that even was. Hmm. Interesting. Anyways, there we go. Looks pretty good. Yeah. Awesome. There it is. All right, so I just wanted to show a uh, print that I just did actually. Um, and these are all prints that I bought on a different website. These are not the ones that are included, obviously. And here is this one. Um, what I did is I went ahead and put this one on for 40, 45 seconds, uh, constantly at about 400 degrees. Uh, with this one up here, I went ahead and just did it at 20 seconds at 400 degrees. And you, as you guys saw, had to do it twice so then it could stick better. Uh, this one still turned out pretty good. It didn't quite get right down here, but other than that, um, it did pretty good. So again, this is my only, this is only my second time ever doing this. This is only my second shirt um, that I've ever printed at all. So I would say it's pretty decent. I still need to tweak with the uh, settings a little bit more. And then here is this one I just printed. You see it actually turned out uh, pretty good, I'd say. Pretty nice. Um, so there it is. So next thing I'm going to do is just go over what was pretty much included and what everything does. All right. So this is the main unit that you guys saw me using. Um, this is what was printing the graphics onto the shirt. So you could change around a couple of settings here. Uh, first of all, this is the, uh, this is out of the settings. This is basically just showing the uh, temperature, what it is right now. You can see it is slowly going up and also the uh, set times, which in this case is 45 seconds. Uh, from in here, you press set, and you could change the uh, temperature right here. You can see you go down or up. In this case, I have it set to 400 right there. Or you could change even the uh, amount of seconds. Let's go and see if I could go past one minute. And yeah, I can't go past one minute. Okay, so that's good to know. Let's bring it down here. And there you go. And then you will be back at this uh, main menu if you want to call it that. So there it is. Pretty cool. Uh, this thing seems to be working pretty well. It definitely gets very hot. Um, in fact, so hot that it's actually kind of bubbling up the uh, Dream Van sticker right here, which I, uh, which I found kind of funny. 
So there you go, it definitely gets very, very hot. Do not touch this once it is warmed up. Um, it does get very hot. You can also move this thing out of the way, as you can see right there, which is pretty handy. Or you could just hear how uh, far down this table goes to adjust the amount of pressure, which is pretty nice. And then the table down here, I'll take off the parchment paper. Uh, this wasn't included. It's just something that we put on there so then no uh, dirt transfers. And you can see this table does move in and out right there, which is pretty nice. Uh, now during printing, you want to go ahead and leave both of these pads here. Um, I thought whenever I got this thing out of the box that this kind of foam layer down here was just there for maybe something in shipping, uh, but no, that is actually supposed to be there um, all the time. So that is something very important to note. Just gonna turn this thing around. So there it is, there is the main unit. Um, again, it seems to be working pretty well. Actually seems pretty well built too. Um, and just seems to be working great all together. So uh, there's that. Let's go and move on to the other things that were included. All right, so this unit here is to print uh, graphics onto like a cup or a mug. Um, now I would demonstrate this, but unfortunately I do not, uh, number one, really have a mug to demonstrate this thing on, nor do I have a gra or mug-sized uh, graphics, basically. Obviously, the uh, size of the graphics that we're going onto a shirt are way too big for a mug, um, so I don't have any of those, which is the main reason really why I can't demonstrate this. Uh, but it seems pretty straightforward how to use. Obviously, you have to plug these connectors in. I think it shows that uh, how to do that in the instruction manual here. And then you just simply pull this level, this uh, lever here. You can really say that word, and uh, just squeezes the. Uh, the mug or the cup, whatever you put in here, uh, down. Now how to adjust that pressure? Basically just adjust it right here. You can see the uh, farther in this little bar goes, the uh, farther out the, uh, the press part opens up, I guess you could say. That's the best way I could put it. And then if you turn this the other way, the tighter it will squeeze here. So it can accommodate your uh, the size of the mug you have. You can see right there. It's pretty nice. Uh, this one feels pretty solid too. You know, of uh, maybe aluminum, some sort of a metal. Um, again, I wish I could demonstrate it. I'm sure it works perfectly fine though. Pretty much the same as this. It's just a slightly different design. All right, so next I just want to show you the uh, cap press here, hat press, whatever you want to call it. Uh, so basically what you do here is you take the bottom table off, it just slides out, very simple, and then you'll get this end here and slide it into the middle rail here. And then from there you're going to take this top table off, which you do by just simply taking out one screw there and one screw on the other side, and then this whole table will come off and then you'll go ahead and get this end here and go ahead and put it in the uh, the top table's place uh, once this thing is out of the way. You'll just put those screw those uh, two screws in right there. It shows how to do this all in the instruction manual in case you're wondering. Um, it's pretty simple. Um, I would do this if I really had a way to demonstrate the entire system here. Um, but again, basically what you do, just put that on and then you'll put your... Uh, cap in between here along with your graphic and then this end will basically just uh, sandwich the uh, baseball cap in between here and then it will press that graphic on pretty simple again i wish i had a way to demonstrate it but i really don't i number one don't have a uh, suitable hat and i also don't have a graphic small enough for the hat but there it is pretty simple and i'm sure it works pretty much the same way as this it's just in a different form when you're doing it onto a uh, hat instead of a, a shirt. All right, so next uh, thing here is basically these two pads here to pretty much get a graphic and print it onto a, uh, a plate, uh, which I actually find pretty cool. Um, you can see it, it, they, it comes with, uh, in the box, two different sizes here. This one is obviously the bigger one, and this one is the smaller one. Let me show you guys the uh, connection here four prong and I believe this one here is also four prong and yes it is. Uh, now to get these on, what you do is you go ahead and take this uh, top plate here off, this top portion again comes off with two screws, one on both sides there 
And then you simply pop these in and tighten down the screws. And then from there, you could just uh, turn it on, put it to your, uh, to whatever uh, temperature you want for however long you want. And then you bring it down like that. Pretend this thing is on and pretend this table wasn't there and these were in its place. You just bring it down and then it will sandwich the uh, graphic in between this and the uh, and the plate, which again, I find pretty cool. Um, I wish I could uh, demonstrate that, but I do not have a, a proper size graphic to demonstrate this with. Anyways, there it is, pretty cool. All right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm just gonna go ahead and give you guys my final opinions. I've pretty much gone over everything that I can. Uh, for the stuff that I couldn't demonstrate, I just try my best to explain uh, how it works. Um, the instructions will do a better job at that, and I think at the end I'm just going to kind of real quickly flip through them so then you guys can uh, see if you want to what uh, each individual thing does and how to attach it uh, more in depth. So um, overall, what do I think of this heat press? Um, obviously, this is my first heat press. I, I don't know uh, that terribly much about how heat presses you know, work and stuff. I guess that's what I'm trying to say. I know how they work basically. I mean, it's just a big heating pad. Um, but I'd say for the price for a, definitely for a, uh, if you're wanting to get into, you know, uh, using a heat press machine, um, I would say this would be a pretty good little uh, starting machine. Uh, it comes with a bunch of different things here. And although I couldn't test these, I'm sure they probably work uh, pretty much the same as the uh, portion that I did test. There's no real reason why they wouldn't uh, work really any differently. They are made of the same type of uh, heating pad materials here and stuff, so I'd assume they work pretty much the same. Um, but again, I'd say for the price, uh, it definitely seems to be pretty good. Uh, seems to be pretty well built, and again, seems to be working uh, perfectly fine so far. I've printed, uh, let's see here, three shirts so far. Um, and I've had no problems. I think the main problem that I was having, you know, when it was, uh, when it was like peeling up, when I was trying to take off that paper, um, that's just because it wasn't in for long enough. Um, I think it needed to be in there, you know, constantly, uh, for about 45 seconds. Um, but once, once you get the settings right, um, it seems to do a pretty good job. And again, so far I've only printed a couple of shirts, but I've had, uh, absolutely no issues uh, seems to be pretty good, I'd say, for the price. Um, so there it is. So now I'm just going to flip through this manual real quick. You can see here this is the front. Maybe yours didn't come with a manual, or maybe you're wanting to buy one of these, but you're just wondering how everything attaches. Well, here we go. If you want, you could go ahead and pause this video. If you want to look at any of this, I know it could be very, uh, very helpful if you're wanting to buy one of these and you're wondering, hey, well, how does this one thing attach? You see here, there it is. Again, pause it, uh, the uh, video. I'm gonna take a look at any of this. It is pretty easy to use though. I'm gonna flip here. Next page. There it is. I think we have one page left. Yeah, here we go. This is the last page. And then this is how the uh, hat cap accessories, as they call it. Uh, that's, how it in, that's how it gets installed. Again, that is pretty easy too by the looks of it. And then here's the uh, specifications and any questions and answers. So there it is. So that is the, uh, my review on the uh, heat press machine. Again, seems to be pretty good for the price. Um, so I'd go in and recommend it if you're wanting to get into uh, heat pressing. It seems pretty cool. And this is might this might actually be you know something that I uh, might use more often than I think. Um, might even getting get into like the business of uh, using a, the heat press and stuff. Um, maybe make sure it's maybe some on eBay or something. Well, anyways, I'll see about that later on. Might be something I want to pursue. Um, anyway, so there it is. So, uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video and, uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see y'all next time. Goodbye.